Many crypto developers and users will only look at the proof-of-work consensus for negative reasons, but the POW consensus is a lot more than we've experienced. Caspa aims to change the narrative around this technology. In today's video, we'll look at Caspa, a new proof-of-work consensus coin that aims to outdo its predecessors based on a similar underlying principle. What is Caspa? Cas. Caspa is primarily a proof-of-work cryptocurrency that follows the pattern of Bitcoin as a layer one type of cryptocurrency. This means that it shares a lot of attributes with the number one cryptocurrency, such as its mining operations and hash rate, among other things. Looking at this, you can sum it all up as a mere clone or a fork of Bitcoin. Overall, that's not the case. Caspa has a cool unique protocol that governs the operations of the proof of work with its unique blockchain called the Phantom Ghost DAG. In its primary state, Bitcoin is a prolonged network with a slow finality process, at least within the constraints of its own consensus. That's not at all a quality that the developers of Caspa aim to replicate in their project. In fact, the apparent defects of Bitcoin's network led to the creation of a protocol like Caspa's. When we compare how Bitcoin and other coins that use POW perform compared to other coins that rely on POS and other governing consensus, the POW consensus could be better. Does it mean that it doesn't have its own appreciable qualities? Eh, of course not. No remarkable protocol is capable of making the most out of the POW consensus. Rather than having a high-cost network with a very low finality on transactions introduced into blocks, Caspa's Phantom Ghost DAG protocol can approve and finalize transactions immediately after they're initiated. How Phantom Ghost DAG works Most blockchains that digitally process transactions do so in the form of blocks. Well, that's why they're called blockchains anyway. Caspa, however, does not store digital transactions in blocks. Instead, it does so in a complex mathematical structure called a directed acyclic graph, commonly abbreviated as a DAG. A DAG produces vertices instead of blocks. Instead of referring to individual units as forming blocks, each individual vertices from edges when it connects with others. It relies on precedent transactions to confirm and validate the ones that come after it. Therefore, it does not disown previous blocks blocks of information, and thus it's more secure and more scalable. CAS mining is reliant on K-heavy hash, a form of optical miner algorithm. It's energy efficient and works well with mining equipment such as FPGAs and GPUs. It builds on the foundation of blockchain established by Satoshi Nakamoto. He built the POW blockchain to be an open and anonymous collaboration of miners that handles a chain of blocks where every block is an aggregate of transactions initiated by surface network users. The original blockchain invented by Satoshi had a significant flaw in that its scalability was restricted. It became slower and more costly as the network expanded with more users. Phantom generalizes the Bitcoin protocol into an open chain DAG for blocks generated within the network. It helps to determine which blocks are honest and dishonest. Phantom is best enjoyed when users act as miners and take part in solving challenging K-heavy hash mining puzzles or peer-to-peer -peer node operators that can approve blocks in line with the ghost day consensus. This protocol acts as the technology that backs Caspa. Features of Caspa Caspa's open source design relies on the Byzantine fault tolerant protocol called the Nakamoto Consensus. It's the same as the original blockchain on which Bitcoin started out in 2009. This is where we see Caspa borrow some of Bitcoin's principles, such as its lack of a central authority, deflationary state, and proof of work mining. It differentiates itself by using the block DAG instead of the outright blockchain technology. It enabled Caspa to operate at a much faster transaction speed than Bitcoin. Caspa operates it's at one block speed per second, a safe bet that makes it secure and still maintains its decentralization. So it's a much faster and more scalable version of Bitcoin. The developers of Caspa still need to be contented and are working on increasing the transaction speed per second to 10 to 100 transactions per second. Caspa coin CAS. CAS is owned and controlled by a community created by DAG Labs. Both CASPA and DAG Labs were founded by Dr. Jonathan Sampolinski and his assistant professor, Aviv Zahar, who helped him to invent the Phantom Ghost DAG protocol. The group launched CASPA's main net in November 2021, but the price remained static until July 2021, when it grew from 0.000-1840 to about 0.000-5890. Early investors in CASPA 
enjoyed the buzz for a while, but the price boost would soon flatten by the end of the month. The bearish market began to dig its nails into the rest of the market. Still, we saw Casper test another significant growth to around 0.0006, which would rise again as high as 0.003, presenting a lengthy period of consistent gains as more people began to rush into the community of Caspa in August 2022. It stopped slightly below 0.002. Then the price spiked once more in September 2022 to about 0.00051 and has since dropped below 0.002. The price of Caspa at the time of recording is trading at a high of 0.004. Despite the bear market, and it's yet to be seen whether it will progress higher or dip a little further below its current price as the general market price dips. Uses of Cas Coin There's so many ways you can use the Cas Coin. As the protocol's currency, its main objective is to power the whole network. It's used to pay transaction costs and other forms of developer fees. It's also central to the incentivized system that rewards miners. Like with Bitcoin, validators participate in mining operations to earn rewards in Cas. Its block rates are rapid and promise swift rewards via profitable mining at a low hash rate. Cas Tokenomics the coin has a total supply of about 28.7 billion coins that are not pre-mined and a circulating supply of about 13 billion coins. This means it will be released at a low but gradual rate until maximum supply is attained. Its emission schedule is halved yearly, which will further increase mining difficulty and reduce how many miners get as rewards for their operations. With the yearly halving and decreasing emissions, the last Casper coin will be mined in 2037. You may be just getting to know this coin for the first time. The coin is, after all, unavailable on major exchanges like Binance and Coinbase. So this project is still in its early stages, which makes it all the more exciting to think about its prospects. Are there going to be challenges facing Casper coin in the future? Yeah, Ghost Egg is not commonly used for creating cryptocurrencies. As a result, Casper coin is regarded as a more complicated way of utilizing the protocol. There's a lot more engineering to be done before the protocol can be put to efficient use for multiple projects. And Caspa may be the ultimate cryptocurrency developers will rely on to operate on Ghost Egg. Caspa has an unpredictable future, but it could be the best use of POW we've ever seen, even more than Bitcoin. This depends on how much faster, more reliable, and resilient resilient its blockchain becomes, then it will stand out in the crypto market as a whole. Latest Developments on Caspa Towards the end of 2022, Caspa partnered with another significant utility project called Flux. Flux was a blockchain-based cloud solutions provider. The relationship between them entails that Caspa's blockchain nodes can now be launched on Flux's cloud platform. It adds credence to the decentralization of Caspa and helps it be more scalable. Caspa currently runs on about 13,500 Flux nodes hosted globally by Caspa node operators, which function interchangeably and prevent any break in the operation of the Caspa network. Therefore, Therefore, if any node were to fail, another functional Caspa node operator would take its place. Caspa is also set to be listed on F2 Pools, one of the world's largest mining pools. This will likely improve thousands of people's access to cash mining resources while also listing cash coins for trading on the platform's decentralized exchange. There's also a push to see cash become a currency used to procure different products and services. Although there will be a need for significant enlightenment among merchants as well as users about the positives of trading and relying on cash pump, this is a part where Bitcoin itself has failed to excel. Cryptocurrencies have yet to become an effective means of exchange for goods and services worldwide. The real work is in having the price of Caspa or any other cryptocurrency be way less volatile so that its price can be more stable. Then, people can trust digital currencies and blockchain technology for use in their day to day lives. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I really hope you learned something. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.